Simple entry, step entry using a MIDI keyboard. Refer to the example Go Tell Aunt Rhody PDF or Chapter 5 in the Finale Chops textbook. A faster way to enter notes in simple entry is to use step entry with a MIDI keyboard. Using a plug and play MIDI controller keyboard is the easiest, hassle free way to enter notes in Finale. There is no setup required. You just plug the keyboard into your computer with the USB cable and Finale automatically detects your MIDI device. Older keyboards that are MIDI compatible may require a USB MIDI interface and downloading a driver on your computer. A MIDI controller keyboard does not have any sounds of its own. It uses the sounds from a music software like Finale or from a sound module for playback. A two or four octave controller doesn't require a lot of space next to a computer. All controllers have octave up and octave down keys to shift octaves. There are many MIDI controller brands and models available. Some controllers have full size keys. Some smaller models have small keys and will fit in a computer bag. Prices for two to four octave controllers range roughly from $60 to $100 depending on the size and brand. Check your local music store or online before making a selection. After plugging in your MIDI controller to your computer with the USB cable, open a blank Finale document. Click on the Simple Entry tool and play a few notes to see if the MIDI is working. You can find more directions for MIDI setup in Chapter 2 of the Finale Chops textbook. If you are using a desktop computer, you will use the numeric keypad to select the note durations. If you are using a laptop without a numeric keypad, follow these directions to turn on the laptop shortcut table before entering any notes. With any Finale document open, click on the Simple Entry tool, Simple Menu, Simple Entry Options. Click the Edit Keyboard Shortcuts button. At the bottom, under Keyboard Shortcuts Set, next to Name, click on the pop-up menu and select Laptop Shortcut Table. Click OK and OK again. Your Laptop Shortcut Table is now in place. It will always be turned on every time you open Finale. Now you can use the number row on your computer to change note durations and the function key row to add intervals. To open the Aunt Rody empty score you created in a previous video, click on the file menu Open. Open the Go Tell Aunt Rody empty file. Let's resave this file as a new document. Go to the file menu Save As. Type in the name Aunt Rody MIDI. Make sure you save it in the desired folder, then click Save. Let's go to the View menu, Scroll View, to enter the notes. If you need to zoom in to make the staff larger, press Ctrl Plus on Windows, that's Command Plus on Mac. This slide shows the numbers assigned to the different note duration values in the Simple Entry tool. For example, when you press 4, you select an eighth note value, press 5 for a quarter note, 6 for a half note, etc. Press 0 to enter a rest, the period key to add a dot to a note, and R to change a note to a rest.